Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the ceremonial procession and remain standing for the national anthem. Seated. Guest of Honor, Mr. Chris Ong, Chief Executive Officer, Citrium Limited. Professor John Tong, Deputy President, Academy and Provost SIT. Professor Matthew Granby, Pro Vice Chancellor, Research and Innovation Executive, Newcastle University. Senior Management and Representatives from Singapore Institute of Technology and Newcastle University. Donors, industry partners, distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to graduation 2023. Today, we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. Our guest of honour this evening is Mr. Chris Ong, Chief Executive Officer, Citrium Limited. Mr. Ong will now deliver the graduation address. Mr. Ong, please. Good evening. Professor John Tong, Deputy President, Academic and Provost SIT. Professor Matthew Granby, Pro Vice Chancellor, Research and Innovation Executive, Newcastle University, graduating class of 2023, 
parents, family members, and friends of our graduates, ladies and gentlemen. It is great being here this evening and an incredible honour to be standing in front of 300 graduates from engineering cluster, food, chemical and biotechnology cluster today as we celebrate your graduation from Singapore Institute of Technology. I wish to take this special moment to express my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you who have demonstrated exceptional resilience and dedication to your university journey. You should be proud of your achievement today, for you have displayed incredible strength and perseverance to reach this important milestone of your life. Enjoy the euphoria of your graduation at this moment. But do not forget to thank the people who have supported you along the way. Your family, friends, lecturers, mentors, and teachers at SIT. Without them, this day would not have been possible. As you take the first step into society, or what I would call the university of life, you are likely to face the good and the bad at various junctures of life. You will be confronted with what are the seemingly best options available and how that decision would influence your life years after. Just like searching for that lifetime partner or soulmate, you must look for a career that you will truly enjoy and feel passionate about, akin to building a lifelong relationship. It will give you the challenging times, your roadblocks, and also the bittersweet moments in life. Find a career that makes you a better person, that supports you to grow and learn. Regard every difficulty along the way as necessary rites of passage to grow in confidence. Do not be afraid to make mistakes that will help you become a better you. And let kindness and good intention be your guiding light. Treat others with empathy and compassion. To err on the side of kindness is seldom an error. If you ask me now if I ever envision my achievements today, my answer is no. It has never been about the title, neither was it about the status. Deep down in my heart, it has always been how can I make a difference through the work that I do and to be a better self? Being present to make a difference is an important mantra I live by. By this moral compass which has enabled me to define my work ethics, attract like-minded colleagues and also mentors who will share the same growth mindset. So find what is your compass that will guide you. When you focus on being a better you at work and not what is in it for me, success will come naturally. And of course, success can mean different things to different people. So know what defines you and make you whole. And I challenge all of you today to ask you this question every day. How can you be better than yesterday? You will be surprised at how a small step each day will make a big difference in the future. Mentors are important in one's career and personal growth. Although you may have stepped out of your comfort zone of student life, do not stop learning. Get to know your seniors at your workplace and identify the right mentors who can help you grow professionally or as an individual. Keep an open mind, keep learning, and be willing to take risks. Pay it forward in time to come, when one day you too can also be the guiding light to someone else. Till today in Citrum, the learning has never stopped. I'm still learning from my seniors, 
my team, and also for younger colleagues who can and dare bring different perspectives to the table. But Rome is not built overnight. Allow yourself time to grow and flourish. Life is not going to be a bed of roses, but enjoy your career. Be kind to yourself and others, and pick yourself up with a smile whenever things get tough. I'm especially pleased that some of the SIT colleagues who have embarked on their respective careers with Citrum, you'll make a wise choice, and you'll see more of me in the days to come. We are living in exciting times. A new generation of innovators, leaders, who are committed to create a greener future that will drive the way forward. In my view, decarbonisation and global transition to clean energy has long begun. With the demand for sustainable technologies and practices increasingly rapidly. But in whatever field that you choose to be, Embracing change, equipping yourself with the necessary skills and knowledge, you can position yourself at the forefront of evolving movements. The world is your oyster. Go forth and take your first step into your new chapter in life. You'll be surprised where life takes you in your journey ahead. Enjoy and have fun every step along the way while you're at it. Once again, heartiest congratulations. I know you will achieve great things and welcome to the University of Life. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ong. Professor John Tong, Deputy President, Academic and Provost, SIT, and Professor Matthew Granby, Pro Vice Chancellor, Research and Innovation, Newcastle University, will now present the prizes and certificates to the graduates. Professor Tong and Professor Granby, please. May I present the graduates of whom the degree has earlier been conferred, Bachelor of Engineering in Chemical Engineering. Ang Jia Rong, Amelia. Aman Harith bin Mohammad Noor. <laughs> Bernice Lau Yi Ling. Brian Lim Chao Xuan. <laughs> Brian Wong Chan Wing. <laughs> Chadrick Tong Tian Hao. Chin Sien Yao Klo Ku Jia Yi Dominic Yo Zong Han Don Pawani Nihara Hatic <laughs> Ifya Te Yu Xuan <laughs> Ye 
Elson Ho Jun Hao. Er Hao Ming, Nicholas Michael. Go Hong Chen, Elvis. Go Jun Kang. Go Yi Jie, Andy. Grace Tan Ri Si. Ho Feng. Ho Siu Wen, Glenda. Huda Sabira Binti Ramlan. Yen Tan Yen Hao. Ifa Adila Binti Jaffa. Jayut Busambatra So Kai Shen. Janice Pohan. Jasmine Wong. Jolene Xia. Kang Hui. Keith Chang Jing Ru. Kenneth Wee Jin Han. Kiang Jing Yi. Kok Li Ying. Kwek Su Ling. Lance Yo Wen Wei. Lao Jun Xian, Manfred.
李国正。李曼勇 Jordan， 林可信 Unis， 林启川林志全。Lai Kawen, Muhammad Sharif, Nyo Hui Ngap, Billy Junior. Nyo Xiao Gi Nyo Yi Sin Ng Jun Jie Yuan Vo Ngo Han Nuha Nabila Binti Azman Ong Po Tech Ong Su Wun Ong Wei Chuan Ong Yen Heng Puja Siva Rusidan bin Abdul Wahab <laughs> Ryan Yong Yu Xuan <laughs> Samantha Tan Sing Yi Sean Lim Kai Sin Sim Hao Zhi Joshua Sue 
Su Kan Jin. Suresh Kumar, son of Guna Saikaran. Dan Junyue Bradley. Day Pei Ren. Dou Wen Yuan. Van Ling Tran. Victor Han. Zhang Junwei. May I present the graduates of whom the following degrees have been earlier been conferred. Bachelor of Engineering in Electrical Power Engineering. Recipient of the SIT Capital Gold Medal and the Association of Consulting Engineers Singapore, Book Prize in Electrical Machines and Generators, M. Palakanesh. Abarisha Jensen Reina Pamintuan. Ang Chi Lim Mervin. Arunashwaran Tamil Savan. Aubrey Tang Bo Wei. Azizur Rahman bin Mohammad Zaini. Benedict Ang Wei Lun. Benjamin Ong Wei An. <laughs> Chu Wei Hung Ryan. <laughs> Chong Kai Ching. Chua Ming Jie. Dan Song Yuan.
Daniel Nasura bin Taufik. Denzel Ang Xue Wen. Derwin Tang King Hui. Douglas Cha Yi Long. Feliciano Andreas Victor Cacho. <laughs> Fu Chang Jun Nicholas. <laughs> Fulak Isa Yip. Gail Arisha Manalo Mercado. <laughs> Go Jin Heng. Go Jing Han. Goku Gopala Krishnan. Haris Ridwan bin Muhammad Adit. Heng Chamai Pon. <laughs> Huang Ming Jing. <laughs> Jesslyn Poa. Jeffy Benedict Pasia Escalona, <laughs> Jiang Kai Guang, <laughs> Joey Lim Zi Xian. Ki Lake Han Kate Lee Ying Shalin Ku Wei Jie. Ko Jia Xing <laughs> K 
Ko Wai Jin. Lai Zi Han. Li Pei Yi Chanel. Li Wang Jun. Li Wei Hao Melvin. Liao Xuanzhen Martin. Lim Ai En De Lin. Lim Kai Chi Fabian Lim Kai Yong Liao Kong Liang Lo Jin Kai Mao Mao Han Wen Mohamed Mustak <laughs> Muhammad Fami bin Amran Muhammad Hafsmi bin Rahmat. Muhammad Zuhimi bin Sani. Nadine Lo Wai Yen <laughs> Nazareth Mihal Singh, son of the Park. Niu Jing Hui Nicholas Hong Alam Shah
นอร์ฟซานาวินตีอิสแวนดีนูรูไอบินตีอัสรีองเชียวเชอรี่เอาชื่อเขาพูดได้หอย Ryan Boston, Ryan Ho Sao Chuan, Ryan Peng Kun Kiat. Sean Ang Wei Jie, Sim Pei Rong Email, Xiao Qi Shan. Siti Nuhaira binti Bohan. Sumin John Samu. Tan Chi Yong. Tan En Ping, Tan Jia Yi, Tan Ka Kian. Tan Kok Siang, Tan Ching Fong Darren, Teo Sing Yi. Tiam Yi Chou Do Jin Ting Dong Shi Ching
，一索二。Yo Chao An, <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Design and Manufacturing Engineering, <laughs> Ahmad Hanis bin Mohammad Omar. Amos Xia Hao Yi, Boy Yi Ching, Bo Chang Wei Darren. Brandon Lau Jia Wen, <laughs> Budiono Diwantoro, <laughs> Zeppelin Tan Mei Ying. Chen Yu Qi, Cham Fu Fei, Qin Jia Yi. Chong Rei Ting, Chao Xu Xing, Chu Jing An. Chua Li Kat Joel, Chua Pei Yong, Chua Wei En. Daniel Quick Ray Wen, <laughs> Daryl Chan Xuan Zhao, <laughs> Deepak Tiwari, son of Ramesh Tiwari. Emily Lai Ka Wen, <laughs> Ferris Tan Kiat Chuan, <laughs> Gabriel Ng Ray Chang.
甘文心。高家勇<音> ，Gerald Lo Yun Chen。Gui Rui Yan, Hang Yingzi, Hari Nivas Kandasami. Hensley Chong Chen Er, Ho Wei Hong Ben, Ho Zheng Feng Justin. Hong Ling Ping, Huang Zi Jing, Jared Chia Wang Zhuo. J.D. Ng Chin Ta Jonathan Chong Yi Hao Kelly Chak Man Yi Huan Wenxuan, Law Wei Jian, Li Shaoyong. Leong Pei Wen, Liu Hengju Andrew, Lim Yongjian Dylan. Lim Zheng Wu
林志鹏。孟迪凯，穆罕默德·艾曼·本·阿布杜·哈林，穆罕默德·伊斯坎达·本·伊姆兰。Muhammad Nur Hazik bin Muhammad Razif. Muhammad Roshan bin Abdul Rahim. Muhammad Suhaiman bin Aziz. Muhammad Sairu Izzat bin Roznizam. Ng Jerry. Ng Man Hong. Oliver Leong Ka An. Ong Ray Min. Ao Yang Shin, Pravin Shajit. Ruhu Amin bin Abdullah. Ryan Chua Zhen Yu. S. Hanusha Devi. Sing Wei Kun Shakil bin Sahe Mata Sharon Go Jia Ling. Shaman Wu Shi Wen. Sean Yu.
Siti Nufatin binti Muhammad Noor. Song Wei Qi. Sundaram Akesh. Tan Jia Wen, Trisha. Tan Ching Ray, Eugene. Tan Wei Xuan. De Zhao Kai. De Wei Han. Thaddeus Tang Ray En. Dian Zhang Xu Ton Xuan Yi Do Wei Kun Vinod, son of Raja Manikam. Wang Jun Hong. Wong Liang Chuan Xavier Chong Yo Rong Shen Yu Ka King Ying Yen Tong Bachelor of Engineering in Marine Engineering recipient of the Society of Naval Architects and Marine Engineers Singapore Award for the Outstanding Student, Bryson Cheng Chun Wei. Recipient of the Royal Institute of Naval Architects and BAE System Award for the Best Capstone Project and Report, Ong Ka Jun. (laughs) 
recipient of the Institute of Marine Engineering, Science and Technology Award for the most improved student, Nur Khalisa Mohammad Faisal. Ahmad Saifik bin Anwar. Amiru Ashraf bin Roslan. Amos Tan Yu Xuan. Bei Chun Kiet. Chao Yun Chen. Chua Ming Han. Crystal Lo Ming Ray, <laughs> Ke Wen Hui, Khairu Anwar bin Mohammad Zapiri. <laughs> Ko Ru Lin Jasmine. <laughs> Ko Sun Rong. Li Zi Yang Wilson, Lim Boon Keng Victor, Muhammad Aidil bin Zuklifi. Muhammad Fadani bin Miswari. <laughs> Muhammad Hairi bin Razali. <laughs> Muhammad Rafiuddin bin Abdul Wahab. Muhammad Taufik bin Kamal. Muizuddin bin Mustafa. On John Yao Jasper. Ao Jin Chai, Papa. 
Rhys John Eve, Ivan Wilson. Steve Wong Wei Yu Tan Kiet Yang Tan Le Hao Tashan, son of Kunalan. <laughs> Tendavan Muti Vijayaj. <laughs> Yam Hui Wen. Yen Chong Hao Marcus <laughs> Zukran Anik bin Masran Bachelor of Engineering in Naval Architecture. Recipient of the Chu Chao Bing Outstanding Student Award in Naval Architecture and the Royal Institute of Naval Architecture, Architects and BAE Systems Award for the Best Capstone Project and Report, Dominic Ghana. Recipient of the Society of Naval Architects and Marine Engineers Singapore Award for the Outstanding Student, Lycus Tan. <laughs> Recipient of the Institute of Marine Engineering Science and Technology Award for the Most Improved Student, Yulis Chu Xuan Zi. Ahmad Rushadin bin Rasiman. <laughs> Dominic Tan Chun Ya. Edward Hao Wen Sing. <laughs> Go Jun Hao Gideon. Ji <laughs> Hui. Kelly New Kai Lee <laughs> Muhammad Ashraf Danish bin Muhammad Ashrin <laughs> Muhammad Zaikia bin Muhammad Ridwan
Muhammad Fauzan bin Fauzi. Mio Miat Tanda. Ng Yong Xiang. Ong Jie Kai. Shannon Lim Ker Singh. Cheryl Hao Ya Yun. Yo Jun Jie. Bachelor of Engineering in Offshore Engineering. Recipient of the Society of Naval Architects and Marine Engineer Singapore Award for the Outstanding Student and the Royal Institute of Naval Architects and BAE System Award for the Best Capstone Project and Report. Harvin Singh, son of Harban Singh. Recipient of the Institute of Marine Engineering, Science and Technology Award for the Most Improved Student, Nuru Akila Binti Mohammad Salamat. Adrian Luke Pura Sophia. Ong Tet. Chan Bing Hui. Chen Bing Kun Chu Yao Yu Aloysius Fabian Chow G. V. Samuel Garrett Ko Sing Fu Han Long Marianto <laughs> M 
Muhammad Danish bin Suhaimi. Muhammad Amir Idlan bin Zakaria. Muhammad Farihin bin Noor Izzam. Muhammad Nazim bin Muhammad Malaysia. No Adia binti Jaffa. Surika, daughter of Ilan Govan. Saida Rabia Jilani binti Syed Farhan Hussein. Wei Zi Hao. This concludes the presentation of graduates. Thank you, Professor Tong and Professor Granby. Ladies and gentlemen, the awards presented today have all been made possible through the generosity of our donors. To our donors, thank you for your thoughtful philanthropy. Your support has encouraged and inspired our students and graduates to continue to seek excellence wherever they go. The valedictorian for this ceremony is Mr. Lykas Tan. Lykas will now deliver the valedictorian speech. A very good evening to our guest of honour, Mr. Chris Ong, Chief Executive Officer, Citrium Limited, Professor John Tong, Deputy President and Provost, SIT, Professor Matthew Granby, Pro Vice Chancellor, Research and Innovation Executive, Newcastle University, distinguished guests, faculty members, fellow graduates, family and friends. My name is Lycus from the Naval Architecture Degree Program, and I am incredibly humbled and honored to deliver the valedictorian speech on behalf of the class of 2023. <laughs> this is not just a momentous occasion for the graduates, but for our loved ones who have gathered here and supported us through this challenging journey of growth and development. I am sure many of us have been looking forward to this day, counting down to the very minute. While indeed a cause for celebration, there is a sense of lingering sadness as I have to say goodbye to my student life and embrace the world as a working adult. We leave our fellow classmates and friends who have gone through thick and thin with us and bid farewell to our nurturing professors who have gone through so much time and effort to our development in SIT. Guys, we did it, guys. <laughs> we have worked really hard to get to where we are today, and through this journey, we come out as proud graduates of SIT. On behalf of my cohort, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the academic staff of SIT and Newcastle University for their wisdom and guidance. They have spent countless hours tutoring us through tough subjects, guiding us through our capstone project, and providing mentorship and advice in our integrated work-study program. They have also set aside time for our personal matters, ensuring that we will always have someone to turn to. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much.
I would also like to thank my parents, who are in the audience tonight, for supporting me through tough moments and for tolerating my nonsense all the time. I am sure it was not easy. I want to emphasize that, however, this day does not end our learning journey, as it is a lifelong process. To quote Albert Einstein, learning should begin at birth and only cease in death. Our citizen DNA has inculcated the values of excellence, purpose, and the ability to learn, unlearn, and relearn. As it has reflected in the strong spirit of these values, I believe we have shown to be good ambassadors for our school in the integrated work-study program. Three years ago, we gathered as fresh undergraduates from various family and educational backgrounds. We came out of a pandemic that rocked the world to its core and were uncertain of what lay ahead. I grimly recall the time when most of our activities in school had to be carried out online. We had to adapt to self-study, attending online lectures, and taking charge of our home-based learning. It is a stark reminder that we should always exercise adaptability and expect the unexpected, especially in situations that are out of our control. Nevertheless, we remain resilient and pushed on. While our journey comes with challenges and struggles, I also had my fair share of fun and memorable times. I fondly recall when we had to work in small teams on our remote control boat. I cannot express the exhilaration and joy when we got something as simple as the LED light to flash as intended, or to get the motor to spin in the right direction for that matter. Times like these remind us that challenges in learning are not something to be feared, but to be celebrated. I have met many incredible people during my university journey and forged friendships with people of different interests. I remember the tough times we spent together studying till the icon shut off, to the many days where our diets consisted of just grab food and McDonald's, and the times where we had to sleep over in school just to be prepared for examinations. Going to cheers at 3 a.m., I carry these moments deeply in my heart and will never forget them. I am sure Many of you are familiar with laksa. <laughs> Let me end off this speech with an anecdote that I resonate with. To share something with you about myself, I love laksa. I love cooking it. I love eating it. In fact, many of my classmates and some of the professors know that I briefly helped run a laksa store while I was here as a student. Personally, I often feel that life can be likened to a bowl of laksa. Whatever we endeavor in the future, whether in work or society, remember that we are like the ingredients in a bowl of laksa. We all bring our own unique flavor, our own experiences, and our own story to the mix. Some of us are like the fiery samba chili, adding a touch of that bold spiciness of innovation to the world. Others are like the comforting santan, coconut milk, providing warmth and support to those around us. And just like bihun, it symbolizes the noodles that intertwine and connect us all, just like how all our paths have crossed here today at this very moment. So, my fellow graduates and friends, let us enter, enter the world and create our own laksa of life. Be bold in mixing your unique qualities with those around us and never be afraid to add a little spice to the mix. Just as laksa is a beloved dish in our culture, let your journey leave a lasting and positive impression on the world. Congratulations to the class of 2023, and may our futures be as vibrant, fulfilling, delicious like a bowl of laksa. Thank you very much. Professor Matthew Granby, Pro Vice Chancellor, Research and Innovation Executive, Newcastle University, will now deliver the congratulatory address. Professor Granby, please. Good evening, everyone. As you've just heard, my name is Matthew Granby, and I am the Pro Vice Chancellor for Research and Innovation at Newcastle University. And it's my enormous pleasure to be here at this evening's graduation ceremony. 
And I would particularly like to welcome again our guest of honour, Mr. Chris Ong, CEO of Seatrium. Thank you particularly for joining us today. So I'm pretty sure that I speak for all of us here when I say that graduation ceremonies are the absolute highlight of our university year. They are, as we've just seen, joyous and colourful occasions when you graduates earn the right to wear those robes with, with pride that symbolise the award of your academic qualifications. They're an opportunity for you to join your families, your friends, your tutors, and your fellow students to celebrate the success that you have worked so hard to enjoy. There's one thing that I need to say, though, which is that you are a particularly special cohort of students. As the graduating class of 2023, you've succeeded in the face of some hugely significant challenges. Many of you will have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic in your personal lives and in your education, of course. Some of you might have had your final years at high school blighted by COVID. And then when you got to university, as we've just heard, many of you will have had your classes online rather than in person. That wasn't what you were expecting. And even though some of you graduating today will have started your studies after the worst of the pandemic, you will still have had challenges to overcome. Your university experience will have been difficult, more difficult than previous generations in many, many ways. It will have been frustrating. It perhaps was, at times, demoralizing. And so what I'm here to say is that those challenges make what you've accomplished so much more impressive. Your positivity, your ability to adapt to circumstances so completely outside your control, your resilience in the face of adversity, these are hugely, hugely admirable. Irrespective of your academic achievements, I just want to say well done for getting through all of the tough times that you faced and making it here to graduation. I know also how difficult these times will have been for those who've supported you during your studies. And some will be here in person, some will be watching online, but perhaps, sadly, some others aren't able to share this moment with you. But I do know that without their support, without the support of your family and your friends, getting a degree is just a much, much harder proposition. So I'm not going to ask you again to clap. We've done a clapping, a lot of clapping already. Well, you can clap if you like. But I just want to say... <laughs> I think... I think all of that deserves acknowledgement, the impressive, indefatigable work of today's graduates in getting here and their encouragement that they've received from their family and friends, everyone who supported you during your studies, including your tutors here. I just think it's fascinating, uh, fa fabulous, and hugely, hugely admirable. <laughs> so, the qualifications you're receiving here today are special. They are, the o yeah. <laughs> they are the only joint awards offered by Newcastle University at undergraduate level. As holders of an SIT Newcastle University joint degree, you are now in a unique position of joining the family of alumni of not one, but two internationally recognized educational institutions. You can be both proud and confident that this is an accolade that will situate you among the most sought-after graduates in the world. At this point, I personally like to pay tribute to SIT, and in to, particular to President uh, Casey Chua and Professor John Thong for their friendship and their support. We at Newcastle are absolutely honoured to be one of SIT's chosen international partners. But, thank you. But I want to turn to you now, because you have to be the centre of attention here. You are brilliant. You are talented graduates. 
You're receiving undergraduate degrees across a whole spectrum of engineering disciplines, which is fill me with awe, from chemical engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical design, manufacturing engineering, marine engineering, naval architecture, <laughs> offshore engineering. It's an extraordinary set of accomplishments. I don't have to tell you, you already know, but I, don't, I, I, I will tell anybody I meet what an extremely exciting and important cohort of students you are, how valuable this work is going to be. Just for example, mechanical engineering is revolutionizing new materials, 3D printing of body-ready components, autonomous driving, artificial intelligence. Engineers are building new kinds of manufacturing systems that use minimal net energy and produce little or no waste. They're making fundamental contributions to biomedical efforts to develop better implants and prostheses and other devices to enhance the quality of life of patients. Engineers are designing and manufacturing more efficient and powerful wind turbines to help us build an innovative, sustainable, and energy efficient future. That's just a tiny sample of what you're going to be able to do. The list goes on and on, from the development of robust and reliable renewable energy technologies to personalized healthcare, global communications, future transport, even bioelectronics and bioengineering that interface with the nervous system to control artificial limbs. All this is achieved through the engineering and technology developments that you, our graduates, will be contributing over the coming years. You'll be playing a vital, vital role in developing and implementing some of the solutions we need to, say, uh, to solve the major challenges of our day. Now, you can tell how impressed I am. I, by training, am a historian. Um, so the skills and the expertise you've been learning are, are, are completely fascinating to me and hugely impressive. It seems to me that what you're doing is exactly at the border of what's happening now and what we will be doing in the future. It seems like a kind of science fiction to me, but it's real and it has the potential to change so many lives. But I am going to throw in some history because I am a historian. Singapore and Newcastle have one thing certainly in common, which is a hot, long history and a proud future of innovation. Newcastle, for instance, was uh, the birthplace of the railway. Uh, it was the place that invented the steam turbine. It was the place that invented the electric light bulb. It was the place that invented the windscreen wiper. Our university, Newcastle University, was developed in response to the first industrial revolution in the 18th and 19th century, the period that I study. But now again, it's fantastic that the university with SIT is again at the heart of technological change. Change on an absolutely global scale as well. And so, what extraordinary futures are opening up before today's graduates? You are such a talented group who will go on to become high achievers in so many different fields. The skills you've learned on your courses are required for virtually everything that is built and made. But your engineering skills are, are eminently transferable. Perhaps you'll find careers in any of a range of fields. Whatever you choose to go into, whatever you choose to do, your futures are incredibly exciting. And I hope, graduates, that as you look forward to the next chapter in your lives, you'll remember that you have a vital part to play in bringing to life our vision of Newcastle as a world-leading university that advances knowledge, that provides creative solutions, and strives to solve the most pressing global problems. As a Newcastle graduate, you implicitly share our aspirations to harness academic excellence, creativity, and innovation for the benefit of society, to put things simply to make people's lives better. Now, I know that can sound quite daunting. It's not as easy as it sounds to do all of those things which we say in our vision that we will do. But I do urge you to try. With your new qualifications come responsibilities to make the world a better place. To me, you're like superheroes. You have great powers, but you must use your powers for good. I urge you to be willing and open to responding to the biggest challenges facing the world today. I'd advise you to pursue careers that you, and ideally society as a whole, think are beneficial. 
That's for all of our benefit as society, but it's also, if you like, for your selfish reasons as well. One of the key drivers of job satisfaction is doing something that's valued by society, not just by yourself, not just by your employer. I'd also try to say, choose careers that challenge you and be prepared to take setbacks in your stride. Perhaps remember that no one ever reaches their full potential by staying in their comfort zone. At times, probably, it will seem like there just weren't opportunities or that there were things blocking your path. Well, I hope that if there's one thing in your specific university experience, one thing that it's taught you is that there are no limits to what you can achieve with determination and hard work. You'll be able to think back to this period and the resilience and flexibility you showed in the face of the pandemic and all of the other challenges you've faced, and you will know that you have what it takes to make it in the most testing of times. And just one more thing, graduation, we've heard a little bit about this already, is not an end, but it's a beginning as well. As a Newcastle University graduate, you are now part of a constantly growing global community of more than a quarter of a million members. That network is here to support you and to inspire you professionally, socially, wherever you are in the world. By being active within this powerful network of alumni of one of the world's great universities, you will discover all manner of opportunities and benefits available to you. Newcastle's SIT's advancement offices, development offices would love to help you make the most of it. Do please remember to stay in touch with us both. So, whether you're about to embark on your career or you're going to go on to further study or travel the world, whatever it is, I want you to know just how proud we are of all that you have achieved and how proud we are of all that you are about to go on and achieve. So on behalf of us all at Newcastle SIT, congratulations, well done to all of you. We wish you success, happiness and fulfilment in all that you do. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Granby. Dear graduates, as we come to the end of today's ceremony, we extend our congratulations to you and warmly welcome you to the SIT and Newcastle University alumni family. Once a citizen, always a citizen. Congratulations, class of 2023. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Please rise for the national anthem and the ceremonial recession. 